Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to my co Communist United Kingdom, aka Union of Britain campaign, here in Hearts of Iron 4, Man the Guns. So things have gone very, very well uh, so far in the last episode. Was it the last episode? Yeah. We, we pulled off uh, managing to not only decolonize, but uh, all of our subjects understood and saw the light and decided to become themselves communists after seeing our glowing example that we have provided for them. So, very, very good. Uh, so, I, I was trying to remember what I thought my next priority was. I think I was going to start giving refuge to the scientists. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's not my cat's messing with something over here. Uh, we were on our way towards getting that uh, research... That research... Um, slot. Uh, so, between that and getting the additional ones... We should be okay. But I don't think we have a way to get the... Was there a way to get six slots as the UK also? Or was that a fever dream I had? I think it was a fever dream. Oh, wait! I've actually not done decolonization yet. Right, right, right. Uh, because I figured that I have tons of time to do that. So that's why I wanted to go get that research slot first. So we've technically not done decolonization yet. Uh, but I guess, you know, let's let's just let's just get it over with. I don't want to take. I probably should not take the risks. So we'll just get it over with as soon as possible. Now we also had a bunch of divisions getting ready over here in Canada uh, to stave off American aggression. But it's going to take over a year at this rate to fix my infantry equipment deficit. But it's really not so bad. Uh, you know, that's not taking into account. I think I don't think it takes into account growing production efficiency cap, but it definitely can't be possibly taking into account any military factories that I'm building currently. Look at that, British Malaya's new flag. Uh, here we go. Of course, we want to only trade with our allies whenever we can. There we go. A little bit too much rubber. Whatever, it's fine. But let's just knock out the decolonization. It is the end of an era, but an end of our choosing. Rather than suffering the indignity of struggling in vain against the unstoppable rise of independence movements, we have held our heads high and with pride have guided those under our protection as far as we could. Now all that remains is to cut our remaining ties and welcome our erstwhile dependence on the world scene as equals. And again, this isn't exactly min-maxing. I probably should have gone and gotten that research slot before doing this, even though this is going to give me political power, which is nice, as well as increasing my popularity and stability and manpower but it, it's just a case of i'm gonna be nervous about it <laughs> i just want it, like if they're gonna break off let's see them break off now but they should not do it at least not under my understanding of how like all this cause and effect stuff has been going Got a couple cavalry divisions here let's pull those out these are all regular infantry as well huh okay so let's move some people around here There we go. Looks good. Uh, too far ahead of time on this, and I wanted to get the construction done because there's the industry bonus here. I don't want to... Yeah, I want to use that for the 41 level technologies. Mm-hmm. Looking real good. Uh, I don't think I'm trading. No, I'm not trading anybody in my fleet right now. Let's take a look at this one. The Channel Force, I'm pretty sure I trained all of these. Not quite all of them. We're missing some. So let's... Uh, here's what we're going to do. We'll split... No, no, my bad. Uh, let's create a new task force of all the heavy ships. Pull those out. And... Wait, what? Okay, wait, no, 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 no. Merge this, new task force. Cruisers, submarines. I thought it, why isn't there just an option where it's something like all the, all the capital ships? You know what I mean? So these are the ones that are mostly inexperienced, right? Okay, even though we've got some that are already set, let's do some naval exercises with them anyway. We're gonna we're gonna be okay on oil. We're just fine. Although I really should soon, maybe after this is done, 
we're gonna come over here and start looking into some synthetic refineries. Now we've got 150. Uh, don't want the communist revolutionary. Don't want good old Blair. Would be nice to constantly be getting the increase in party popularity. It helps with stability in the long term. Red Suffragette. We'll probably pick her up at some point. Pankhurst. Hmm. Let's get it. He's available. Let's get him. You know, it's just it's just a nice long term benefit as we push everybody out. You know, I don't like this eleven percent fascism and and on a line. What the hell is that? Yeah. <laughs> Get that out of here. War plan Ruby. See, they're picking them all up against it. It's this, this un uncalled for, unprecedented aggression. Absolutely disgusting. A few more days until decolonization happens. Oh, boy. I'm so nervous. I'm going to be very upset. Did I already check? Yeah, the risk of famine is still there. Definitely an India game coming to the channel in the future. For sure. This color is great. This has got to be one of my favorite colors in Hearts of Iron 4. This sort of a... I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a light burnt brown. Sort of a desert sand-ish. Alright. Uh, decolonization of the British Empire. At midnight today, the long-awaited transfer of full sovereignty for the various subject nations of the British Empire was accomplished. Despite the British government's invitation for former subjects to join the Allies, many have chosen to go their own way. The move continues to be controversial domestically, but is greatly applauded by socialists internationally. What weakness this has caused for the un Union of Britain's position in the world remains to be seen, as does the situation of those nations who elected to go their own way. The future was inevitable, so we have made it the now. Okay, let's, uh... Oh, no. Malta left. The Antilles. Sierra Leone. Belize. Okay, so we're, we're probably going to lose some of the little countries around the world. Let's wait till midnight. Was that it? Was that all we lost? Okay, so... A couple of... You know, a couple small ones here and there. Nothing too serious, although these guys are exiled now, aren't they? So, how do I... Okay, return then. Oh, shoot. This same thing happened in my US game. How do I get them to come home? Don't give me this crap. Let's... Are we going to have to improve relationship with these clowns? What, all right. Let's just go get that research slot for now. Also, where are we in uh, terms of going way over here? I still haven't done... There's so much of this communist stuff I haven't done. Prevent continental hegemony. Hmm. Preemptive Spanish alignment. Gibraltar for Spanish support. Hmm. Okay, we can get another one of these now. Who's it gonna be though? I don't need Pankhurst at the moment. My stability continues to rise. You know what? Can we improve the workers' conditions again? Yeah, that's always nice to do. And I don't think I need trade union support really. I'm already on a war economy. I have no plans to ever go to total mobilization. And we're still in 300 days. It's getting better. That situation. Okay, that's enough. Let's bring it on home. Now, where's my planes at? Let's see how many of these we can crank out. <sighs> really don't have much going on, do I? Let's get them to work. Are we still stockpaying? We'll fill it. Right, so just sort of breaking even on this. Daily gain, 9, 12. Consuming, 808. Okay, so I have a slight net gain on fuel. Hmm. 
And we're going to start giving refuge. First the Germans, then we'll do the Italians. Oh, Germany is now Germany. They've gone democratic. A reverse the brain drain. <gasps> is that going to... Oh, shoot. Have they... I, 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 I just thought of this. Do you think they modified it? Okay, no. I was thinking, like, do you think they modified it so that it makes the German scientists come back home? But no. That does not appear to be the case. What is the United States up to? War plan white. Oh, geez. Just an anti-communist crusade everywhere, isn't it? And they did the INC... Okay, good. That's good, right? Some of them are getting close to raising their autonomy, but why would they, right? <laughs> no need to. No need to at all. 25 whole divisions with India, too. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, well, now we can get the industrial effort. Oh, that's still painful. Let's get the better infantry equipment and finally get that fifth research slot. Great. 58% fascists already down to nine. Terrific. Okay. Now we could go for the synthetic state refinery, which I think is going to be the better choice for right now yeah let's do that then we'll start building them and of course improve them afterwards uh, these all give me stability whenever I select them but we're gonna wait for giving refuge to the Italian scientists now, I want to get training all these uh, <coughs> oh pardon me this uh, this whole army I got out here King of the Arms Rifles There we go. Where's this army at again? Is this all in Delhi? Hmm. All in. Expeditionary forces cannot switch templates. Which ones are those? Yes, Must be these. So if I did this, yeah, now I can change the template. Yes, okay. Bring two of you over here, and let's queue up five more of these. And yes, I know, I know I do not have it, but I just want to kind of organize things. Um, no, way too far ahead. Oh, man, I'm behind on my artillery. There's just so much to do. And got to keep dumping it all into the infantry equipment. There, now they've now the, they've gone fascist under Pétain. Oh, it's France that can end up with multiple research slots. That's what I've been thinking of. For when they when they go to Africa and the country technically changes, I think. Or is it that Vichy France can get the extra slots? Mm. Alright, but let's go, let's go, let's go. Zog submits to Italy. Really? They're not ready yet? It's a 19%. Almost done. Good. Okay. We've done, we're, we're no longer mobilizing, so whatever I've got is what I gotta live with. And we're gonna take you guys and put them. And I sort of wanna just disband these guys down here in Georgetown. That might have to be the way I go. Let's put them over here. Hmm. All right, next, Revolutionary Ordnance Factories. Gives me six military factories. Could be good, but I also want to see what's going to happen whenever we take Fate of the Royal Family, and then we can, yeah, we can start coming down here to get rid of our, get rid of some consumer good factories. Actually, that might, uh, hmm, we're improving the workers' conditions right now. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to get the consumer good factories guy. But the notion that one person is worth more than another purely by birth sickens us. The immense wealth the royal family continues to flaunt is a thorn in our eyes and will undoubtedly be of much 
better use spent on rearmament and industrial expansion. Perhaps it is time to kill two birds with one stone. That reminds me, where, where what's going on in the world in terms of uh, when a war is going to break out? So these guys are improving relations with France. Does that I mean with Spain? Does that mean uh, okay they're going to do France first? Just try to think. Are they going to try to get some sort of alliance here? I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, who's going to who's going to make a move and kick off the big war uh, with the way that things turned out here? Mexican oil nationalized. Plutarco y Calles has been stirring up populist nonsense aimed against our economic interests in Mexico. Now the uh, now the Partido Nacional Revolucionario has passed legislation to nationalize the assets of Royal Dutch Shell, Standard Oil of California, and many other international oil farms. Although their constitution allows this action, international justice demands compensation for the losses suffered by the firms. The oil barons are demanding we act. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We will embargo trade with Mexico until they come to their senses, or our options are limited and force of arms must be considered. Oh, so we can actually get a puppet goal against them. You know, they've been spitting in our face. This is an affront against the workers of those <laughs> firms. That's what it is. So, now, well, we're gonna... It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Force of arms has to be considered, and we'll embargo them as well. Uh, so, yeah, this will give me something to do while I guess we wait for the United States to make its move against us. Um, more assault. Hmm, I do like assault a lot. But is there something, anything more important I could be doing? No, let's wait a couple more months on that. And Marines. Okay, I've got Marines. Good. And le then let's start heading down towards the amphibious stuff. Maybe. Hmm. Now, where's our closest ports in the area? Wow, it looks like pretty much everybody in the West except for uh, Canada didn't want anything to do with us anymore. Hmm. Yeah, the British Antilles left. Okay, then. Uh, what can we do instead? We're gonna need... Well, first off, we need to build Marines. That's, that's the ticket. Uh, we have no army experience to use, though. Oh, because we got Maxwood. We didn't... We didn't get him ourselves, right? He just sort of popped up. This is the only military theorist we can use. Let's give refuge to these Italians first. And then... What are we going to do about this? Am I going to have to invade Mexico with like regular infantry? That's going to go very badly, I think. Then again, Mexico tends to do a bad job defending its coast. So, how about we... So we've got some there. we got these divisions here. Yeah, I, I'm just going to disband these things. They're, they're not coming home. At least not the normal way. Oh, good. The experimental oil, the synthetic oil experiments are done. Uh, now I think we'll work on fuel refining. And let's queue up some refineries. Quite a few. Maybe I should just... Oh, actually, I think with the, the disbanding of those 24, all of my equipment problems just got solved. Germany speaks out against the Soviet Union. The Red Menace. So oh, they're doing their Central European Alliance. Okay, so soon we're going to see a war between Germany and the Soviet Union. But we got to deal with uh, this Mexico situation first. And I think what we'll do is... Let's actually do train some Marines. Just as many as we can. No more than 10. Yeah, no more than 10. Because uh, we're going to adjust them later and that will make things easier. And also only 10 things can be invading at a time anyway. Uh, coming back over here to our regular infantry. A okay, fate of the royal can uh, family. Detained in an unofficial house arrest in the splendor of Buckingham Palace ever since the transition to power. The time has now come what to... <sighs> come on, do some editing. 
The time has now come to decide what to do with the royal family. Public opinion has made it clear they must go. All that remains is to decide on what matter and what to do with their wealth once we seize it. So we can exile them to Canada and we'll get some bonuses for confiscating the royal wealth for a year. And then the Dominion is going to get the royal family in exile, which will give them bonuses. But they're communists anyway, so that, that wouldn't, like, if we're going to get rid of them, we're just sending them to another communist country. So they will be tried in sentence. Oh, shoot. Minus 10% stability. Does this mean that Canada might eventually break off? I feel like they should have had a third option here or something. Or maybe make it so that you can only sentence them. Or, or maybe just exile. You know what? It should be like... It should be you exile them to some sort of monarchistic country it could be any of them like i guess ideally maybe if the kaiser was in charge they'd be sent there and then that country gets a puppet goal on the union of britain and uh not a puppet it'd be like a, a government change goal and they also get the division recovery stability and war support so i don't think it's fair to exile the the, the royal because it'd be cheat. I feel like this is cheating. It, I would just be giving Canada bonuses, and Canada's in my faction, so it's like there's no consequences to doing this. So we will try and sentence them in the interest of fairness. Disappearance of the British royal family, as yet another week has passed since the last public appearance of any member of the British royal family. Rumors abound about their likely fate. The government has refused to comment on the matter entirely and has begun cracking down on any media reports that would bring attention to the issue. The government's silence is only more noticeable in light of anonymous accounts by certain individuals uh, uh, who claim to have been members of the royal family's household, speaking of seeing the royal family being forcibly removed from Buckingham Palace by masked men some weeks ago. It had to be done. So now, for the good of the revolution, and remove allies, create British communist alternative. See, I don't know if I want to, I don't think I want to follow Moscow, since, uh, you know, I've worked all this, I spent all this time working on keeping my own faction together. I don't think that necessarily means I have to fight them. Yeah, look at that, there's cooperation. I like that. Uh, but there's also one true revolution. We could reach out across the channel. Uh, so we basically will try to get other people in here. We could also enforce decolonization. Oh, I like the sound of that. That sounds pretty cool. One true revolution into into liberate the hobo marks. Jesus, this is so. This is a world conquest right here, pretty much. Decolonization into one true revolution into liberate the the home of marks. It's not literally a world conquest, like I'm not going after South America, but that's basically a world conquest. Maybe I'll do it. Spirit of the Industrial Revolution. Why Why do you even need that? Well, I suppose you could be at war and then you come down here uh, and grab Spirit of the Industrial Revolution. Um, like for while you're at war. Well, in any case, let's take for the good of the revolution. All one must be willing to make sacrifices in comfort for the good of the state. The British people will keep their heads high in the face of rationing, confident it will ensure our eventual victory. And that's going to get rid of the war to win all wars. Very good. This is the, uh, the Amtrak thing, right? Bonuses in the marsh and amphibious. Poor fuel efficiency, huh? Maybe do that with the Valentine. If we're going to pull off a D-Day thing on our own at some point, we might need that. Hey, where'd my bonuses go? I spent them on oil. Fucking shit. Damn, I'm pissed now. Oh, that's my own fault. Shoot, 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 shoot. So I am so dumb sometimes. Japan declared on communist China. Didn't they already do that? Am I not remembering that correct? They don't even they don't even have a border with them. How are they gonna fight them? Unless they come after China next. Japan does have a goal, but that's just weird. Uh, so uh, 
Okay. Let's get let's get our Marines over to Canada. Whoops. And they're gonna go right for here. Yeah, we should work on the peninsula and then head west. Uh, for our marine guy, who do we want? We have a commando, but there's just plain better guys up here. We want to keep these four, to, these ones together mostly. We get Claude into the area. Orders. Here we go. The people's marines. Oops. Modifying the government. Uh, was there anything in particular I was gonna do? I can't improve the workers' conditions right now. I do want. Is there? What can help me a little bit with stability? Any of these could. Is refinery in here? Yeah, refinery construction speed plus fifteen percent. Then you know what? Let's grab that and. Don't care about the dockyards. Maybe we can get another factory here. Let's just pick these up. As many as I can. Get a few different bonuses going. Now, uh, mechanized. Ah, here's the motorized, uh, all the mobilized stuff. That's right, I forgot about that. I can come over here, grab motorized anti-air, motorized artillery, and so forth. That's where the fun begins. Hmm. So, yeah, we will be doing assault. India, what's your population again? Holy shit, oh, Jesus. Well, uh, they are, they are, you know, only on volunteer only, but come on, they should have a lot more than that. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tells you. I wonder what would happen if I did take out the Soviet Union and then puppeted them. It would, surely Stalin wouldn't be in charge. It would be somebody else, right? Ready. Maybe we can find out together. And since we have plenty of equipment, I think it's time for everybody to get training. And actually be an army worthy of the Union. Uh, Yugoslavia is claiming Bulgaria. Uh, Romania demands a guarantee. If only to keep their oil out of enemy hands. Excuse me, why would I care about you, Monarch? No. Germany announces the Central European Alliance. Hmm. So I need to decide whose side I'm going to be on here. Like, surely I wouldn't go against Germany because the Soviet Union's actually communist. Yeah, I'm a staunch Stalinist. I don't think I'm going to be doing the attacking, attacking the Soviet Union thing. It wouldn't make sense. I mean, a lot of things don't make sense when you play this game. Oh, can we do liber Can we do follow Moscow into uh, liberate the home of Marx? I didn't even realize that. I'm so dumb, it's right there too. Okay, so if we did follow Moscow, tackle fascism, tackle capitalism, so it only could be one or the other, hmm. uh, then we can do, okay, so this, what does this do? Gains national spirit, tackle fascism, which grants daily fascist support minus 0 0.2, and then we get attack bonuses against Italy, then prepare the second front, and to liberate the home of Marx. You know what? This might be the way I go, actually. Although I do... that That's cool, though, the idea of enforcing decolonization. Since that was a key part... Isn't that a key part of how the Communist Party works in this in like this timeline? Is like Meaning meaning that's, that's like the whole gimmick with the trade unions and going communist is that you have to decolonize or you'll cause a civil war. So since that's so that serious an issue... It should be that you got to enforce decolonization. You got you now. You want to force everybody else to stop doing that too. And 
And I suppose, would I be able to... Can't invite them in faction, they're in a faction. So we would never be able to work with Stalin otherwise. Reaching out across the channel. So I suppose, damn, is this going to become a world conquest run? <laughs> Am I going to talk myself into one? A virtual world conquest run? Well, you know, there's other things I have to do in the meantime anyway. So uh, let's come back over here. And a, that was it. General rearmament is minus 5% consumer good factories. That's the one I was looking for. So if that is the case... We're at 11% right now. We're going to get another minus 5. Damn, maybe I... Uh... There's a less consumer good factories person here, right? More industrialist. Or I thought there would, but... Can we, can we possibly get down to 0 or 1% in terms of consumer good factories? Because that would be pretty cool. All right, well, anyway, this episode's gone long uh, enough. Uh, I guess it was just mostly a lot of setup going on, but in the next episode, we are going to go after Mexico. We're just about ready to do that naval invasion anyway, and the Marines are adequately trained up, all things considered. Uh, I might just give them... Oh, shoot. Yeah, we have no army experience. That's the thing that's a little bit of a pain right now. Uh, so I think the next time I've got... Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get Raymond Briggs in here next time I've got the political power, and I'm seeing I'm seeing lots and lots of amphibious uh, landings in my future. So let's also work on the Valentine DDT. This will yeah, unlocks amphibious tank battalion. That's what I think we'll do. We're not gonna focus on regular style tanks. We'll just have infantry, but we'll have amphibious ones to open up breaches. We'll see how well that goes for me. So, I'm Conquering History Games, and see you in the next one, in which we are going to uh, revenge ourselves upon the uh, the Mexican Junta. New World Order, I'm not sure how well that's going to go down with Germany. Oh, they'll join the Central European Alliance. You see, this just makes crap more complicated. Why they got to be doing this, man? <sighs> see you around.